the hell was that, man? I don't know. That was insane. Oh, my gosh. It's going to take me a second. I got to recover. Holy moly. Those are the fusion. I got to breathe. I have to breathe. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to ADD Drumming. Uh, I like to say featuring me, the sexy dog boy, Brian Burwell. Oh, man. I have to take a second. I wasn't quite prepared for that tune. Thanks a lot, Robbie. Thank you. And I start to cramp during it. Ha! Ah, and seconds of breathing. So thank you for showing up today, if anybody's out there watching. Ha ha ha! That's great. We're going to do some stuff today. So, teaching drum lessons today, and I was feeling awesome. Like, the hands were feeling really good. I was really pumped up about getting in here today. And then Robbie throws that song at me, and now my hands are all cramped up. <laughs> I was not prepared. Oh, so what are we going to work on today? Let's do something sexy and fun. There's stick tricks. There's licks. Oh, I know. I've got a drum lick. It's one of my go-tos. I think I did it in the song, or I, I might have. It's a six tuplet. It's not that difficult, but it is difficult to play fast. So this is what we're going to try. We're going to try to take it. We're going to do it. I'm going to show you. It's right, left, right, foot, foot, left. I may have shown this in the past, but this has always been one of my favorites. So right, left, right, foot, foot, left. And then it repeats. We can add stuff to it. I love, well, here, let me play it in context. I'm still trying to catch my breath, Robbie. I love you. We're all quitting smoking. I'm a cigarette smoker, and the pack just went up like $2, and I can't afford it because I'm a drummer. <laughs> all right, here's the lick again. It's good in a bunch of spots. <laughs> here's the lick. I am tying that together with another lick and a, a couple of them. This is what you want to do. You learn a lick. You don't just sit there and practice the drum pattern to death. You, I mean, yes, you do. You'll do it over and over again. But you really need to practice tying these into other things. Yeah, you want to tie them in to other things. You know, you got to really go for it. You got to feel it in your soul. You gotta sing it too, like biddly doodle biddly doodle biddly doodle bop, biddly doodle biddly doodle biddly doodle bop, biddly doodle bop, biddly doodle bop, biddly bop, biddly doodle biddly doodle ka 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 oh oh ah oh oh see stuff like that. That's my drum scat. Look at I'm flexing for you guys. How you doing? That's right. That's right. We're gonna do this lick now. All right. So the other lick that I tie that into, I've got to remember it because it just comes out when I play. I'm sticking, I think I'm doing a nine. Uh, one, two, let's see. I think, I, don't, I, I have to take a second and figure out what the heck I'm doing. Two, three, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, it is a nine. And then I'm sticking something in there. I don't, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Oh. 
that I don't I have no idea what I'm doing there. <laughs> this is the greatest drum lessons ever. Like I don't even know what I'm doing here. Like I just put something in here. Oh. <laughs> and I just go. Yeah. That's why it's ADD, baby. Because sometimes it comes out and then I have to actually think about what I'm doing. It's like when I'm doing a session. And you, for instance, Robbie Blake, next take, uh, do that drum fill you did. And then I have to go, I have no idea what I did. And then it takes me 20 minutes to relearn something that I just threw well, out just there. Go in there and play it for you. Yeah, yeah. Robbie, come in and show everybody this drum lick. <laughs> I'm an a hole. Thank you very much. I love. Oh, white drumsticks. They show up fabulous. They show up fabulous. Yeah, what are we doing? I got. how I end it. All right, that was kind of cool. <laughs> That's like, I, I'll, I'll listen to this later, and it may not be as good as I thought it was, because I don't consider myself a jazz That's drummer. Good. Yeah, yeah, it felt pretty That's good. Pretty good. I've, been, I've been working on my jazz. So I could show you guys. See, watch. That's my jazz hands. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll be here all week. Can anybody give me a ride home tonight? Okay, next lick. We're going to do something cool. I don't know why we're calling it lick. Go down, go down. All right, so this go one. Dog in heat. Ooh, this dog will hunt. Ooh, that, who is that? Wait, I'll get it in my head. Primus. Primus says, well, he says, dog will hunt. And then the song starts. I have to find one of those because I like a lot of the Primus stuff. Primus is good. All right, now next lick. I've got to think of it. No. Okay, it's a seven lick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I did it too many. I did it wrong because I was trying to be cool and make faces. So here it is. One, two, three, four, five. Left, right. 
right, left, right, right, foot, foot, left, right, left, right, right, foot, foot. Oh, I do it better when I reverse it. I do like a triplet. One, two, three, one, two, foot, foot. I don't know where I use that. I'll just play like. Question. Yes. Yes. Can you me how to play a beat? Or is this nothing but just showmanship? <laughs> well, everybody seems to want to learn that stuff when they come to me for my expertise. Everybody <laughs> just wants to learn how to actually play the drums, <laughs> not just solo the entire song. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, F you, Robbie. There's going to be the beat. Fifty ways to leave your lover. I pick one of the really hard ones. All right, we should. All right, let's go. Let huh. ah, kiss myself. Oh, Clyde Stubblefield just died. The most uh, sampled drummer from James Brown did all his. That stuff. That's actually hard stuff to explain. I'm only playing stuff I don't know how to explain today. That's that's the gig. That's the ADD drumming at its finest. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The curriculum is oh. to MI soon. Dude, you know who else just died? Uh, another drummer, the Sib from Boston. The group Boston. What? Yep. yep. You didn't have that many feelings. He <laughs> so More than a feeling. More than a feeling. He died on a cruise ship playing drums in the middle of the gig, playing like some rock tribute thing, and at least that's what I heard. And just. Uh, Gotta be some video of that. Dude, I bet you there is. I, uh, not that I wanna see it, but. Dude, that's the way I wanna go. I wanna be How like. Old was he? They said, I don't remember, like early 60s, I think. Like he wasn't that old. I mean, at least <laughs> that's what I. <laughs> All right, let's let, let's do. You know what? I will show a beat. Just uh, some of the first stuff that I was taught. All the way back to ha. Huh. That's right. Oh, by the way, by the way, uh, on the second, you if you watched the Academy of Country Music Awards, you would have heard me because I was in the house band, rock and roll, and it was awesome. Actually, I have no idea if it was awesome. We pre-record all the stuff. That's the secret. Did it like a month ago, but it aired aired the other night. So some of this stuff you need to work on. I'm gonna do it in traditional. We're gonna do some kind of. I was taught this. It was called the Detroit Shuffle, but a shuffle. Four on the floor, and then two and four on the hi hat. And I'm playing flat footed right now. And then you, then you swing and you do the same with the left hand. And do a back beat. Or you could shuffle the left hand. Da, 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 da. Or shuffle both. That's your Detroit Shuffle. Every drummer should be able to do that. I was taught that actually by the guy who wrote all the music for the Country Music Awards. I've known him since I was a little kid. He helped me out my whole life. I mean, that's how I got the gig, because he saw me play from a little kid. Well, little kid, I was 13. And at around, well, freshman year in high school, he sat me down and showed me a bunch of shuffles, because he plays drums a little bit, uh, a lot of hand percussion, too. He actually plays just about everything. So he showed me that, and he said, I need to be able to play, you know, a straight shuffle, this, which 
Now I'm accenting on the, the quarter note on that one. One, two, three, four, one, a two, a three, a four. And I'm really light and I'm hitting on the way up. See my angle of my wrist. And that's important. You don't want it to feel stiff. That's a kiss of death. And then we're just going to go a straight shuffle. That. And I'm very relaxed. And you can start to work on left hand exercises, putting different. I'll buzz sometimes, or I'll do a little press, a little press roll, a little press action. Ha ha ha! Turn that into my favorite, which is the halftime shuffle. One, two, three, go. One, two, three. If you've ever heard of uh, Jeff Recaro, he's the master of that. That's from his drum video is where I really, really learned a lot of that type of stuff, that feel. And I showed this before, but I'll show it again. On practicing the Jeff Carl Rosanna feel, you need to get, um, you take the whole triplet, you shuffle, but there's a center note. So if you think of three notes, the middle note's taken out when you're shuffling. So it's like that. Pop, 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 pop. I guess that's the, oh, that's my new, like, metal sign right there. So we want the middle note in there, but you just do it as a grace note or a, a ghost note on the snare. And you see how I fall into the quarter note? This took me forever just to get this. I mean, after a while, it turns into a, a different feel where it's there. I'm not doing it as the, the same way. I'm doing a double and then a single after. I'm doing whatever. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I'm confusing myself, ladies and gentlemen. But Dude. I uh, what? You hear that Chuck Norris just died? You're kidding! Like three years ago. What? What? Death hasn't found the courage to tell him. <laughs> ah. I just watched uh, the fight scene be between Chuck Norris and Bruce Lee yesterday. Woo! From I. Game of Death or so I don't remember the name. I didn't know that was, a, uh, was even his name. Dude, it's amazing. And I heard they really kind of went for it. I don't know if it's true or not, but, you know, I'm a fan of all those guys. And I always wonder who would have won. Because Chuck went through the whole circuit, and he trained, and he, and he was middleweight champion of the world or whatever it was. And Bruce Lee never did competition like that. He did far a lot, but you always I always wondered. Bruce Lee was so much faster. Well, did you ever read Chuck Norris's diary? No. It's called the Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> Woo, Chuck, baby! I'd like to have him on the show. You know who Chuck Liddell is? All right, so Chuck Liddell, you know, big, big UFC fighter. I played at his not his wedding reception but his like he had some wedding party in vegas and i played and then afterwards i went up to him and asked if i could kick over his head and he let me it was a big moment for me it was very enjoyable he said i had good technique and then i was hey, fast you hear that <laughs> I, I can't hear you i want to hear in the street after Chuck Norris? What's it called? What's Chuck? Well, what? it was called Chuck Norris. They had to change it though. There's no one to cross Chuck Norris. Oh! <laughs> Alright, it's kind of lame. Are we gonna are we gonna play a song? Oh, deep but deep. Oh.
awesome. I don't think I've, I don't know if I've ever played that one before. I've heard it. I know I've listened through it or maybe faked it, but these are the fusion tunes today and jazz tunes. I'm digging it. I, I've really been getting into it lately because for most of my career as a, as a professional drummer, I honestly haven't had any need to play that stuff or, or really be good at it. So I concentrated more on groove and playing with click and, and having good pop sensibilities. And that, that was because that's what I was getting work for. Now that I'm getting older and I've spent the last couple years diving back into uh, really technical stuff and, and even the basic stuff, just trying to get better because I've gotten to a point now drumming wise where I want to just be as good as I could possibly get that's the goal before it wasn't the idea of being as good as I could possibly get it was trying to get the next gig or trying to do what I really needed to to play the music correct now I'm starting to get to the <laughs> show off stuff again or you know because if I just did this all the time Like I do with most of the work that I do. You know, because I do this all the time and I'll get bored. So on my own, I practice all sorts of crazy stuff. I've been working on like odd time things. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try something. I, I know I've done this a, probably a bunch of times, but this is always a go to super hard. Uh, at, well, you know what? I should keep showing drum beats. Shouldn't I, Robbie? Get down! Get the yeah, chopper! We should, we should just, uh, ah. Assume that people watching this can't play <laughs> the drums. We should. Well, or we will teach them something. All right. How'd you play the drums? So first we thing. Band. We're gonna. Oh man! Well, nobody in the world can do that. Hey! All hey. right! All right! Look at that! Wait, just a sec, just a sec. Let me pat myself on the back. All right, I love you. Dude, how did you know? Now it's all caught in the gel that's in my hair. <laughs> oh, I know something. Okay, since I was just talking about practicing the stuff that I that was actually useful that I needed to get gigs and to stay in gigs and play really well, here's a beat that I noticed, at least in Los Angeles, a lot of people seem to have a hard time with because it's more of a country, well, it's a country train or a two-step. And I've just noticed a lot of students have a really hard time with this. So it has a four on the floor, like. And then we're going to put a backbeat in, but it's, it's a two-step. It's a very polka. Roll, roll out the barrel. Hey, we'll have a barrel of fun. But we want to do it in a train style, because you can do this. I'm playing very soft because usually when I'm doing it, I've got to play like that. Kind of stiff. I'm not. I might do that. Throw an X. Or that. Well, now I'm showing off because I'm doing different things with the right hand, but it's based around this. Then we want to do it where the accent is really on the right hand. We go, let's see. Then we, so sixteen notes, so one and a two and a three and a one and a That's it. to practice trying to move around the kit and do fills and keep getting back to that groove without without messing it up really i you could do this back and forth with the feet and your back beat on the snare will be with the hi-hat that's 
then you have that, a little 60. country trains just 16th note with that feel start from there keep getting that or you could take that and turn it into a polka I started doing stuff that totally wouldn't work in that. But that's a big one. Or doing the taking that same two-step vibe. I'm trying to think of the song, uh, not Lonesome Town. It's one uh, a Ricky Nelson song. When I played with the group, it was called Ricky Nelson Remember Remembered, featuring Matt and Gunnar Nelson. And the beat was, the, uh, what was it? Oh, Fools Rush In. This song always gave me a hard time. Because when I try to do fills, it was really easy to get discombobulated. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I get kind of lost. And so most of the times when I played it, I just stayed really strict to this. That's a whole song I played just like that. And sometimes uh, drummers will think, oh, that's boring. But one, if you try it, you'll find it's probably more difficult than you think. And then if you ever feel like you're bored or like it's beneath you, start doing things like really trying to get into what musically it is, like the feel. If you're a metal drummer, you know, don't bash it out. Try it really light. Really work on getting the, the correct. And try to hit that center of that snare. Now there I'm trying to stick in some doubles. Lefties. Now right hand. There, actually, I should have a cowbell, uh, and that's a little fast, uh, which was Hello, Mary Lou. Same kind of feel, same two-step feel, but with that, actually, I think, did I do it? No, I didn't samba that tune. It was just that, but it was... was it? And by the way, when I first learned that, that was a tough one for me to get. Um, oh, yeah. Mm. Smooth jazz.
<laughs> Felt halfway good on that. There was a couple times within that where I just wasn't locking up with the groove. And that was just my own fault because I was trying to put in things uh, against the bass drum pattern. Or really, it's the bass guitar pattern. That's what I'm the doom doo doop, doom doo doop, ha! A doom ba doo doop, a doom ba doo doop, ha! This, like. And I'm trying to put in little snare things or. Let's see. Boom ba doo da. Ah, see right there. I can't stick in that second double. There, I did it. That's, and then I was sticking in. Uh, I was just hearing stuff in my head. I was hearing the uh, six eight Afro Cuban thing. Dot 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 And I just move that stuff around. Um, I have played to that track before, and I've played it way better in the past. Kind of stinky poo pooed today. All right, what should? I, how are we doing on time, everybody? What's going on? All right. What do you think about those gas prices? <laughs> yeah. Pretty high, huh? Pretty crazy, man. How they don't affect? Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. Beer. This car runs on beer. This car runs on beer. My car runs on beer. Car runs on beer. All right, you got ten minutes. I got ten minutes. Yeah. Oh, boom, boom. Boy, these are gonna be. Too okay, here we go.
That was cool. I've never played that one before. I like it. I like it. Do we have another one? We could end it and maybe yeah, one more. solo out. Maybe you want to teach something for a couple minutes, then we can all right, off. all right, all right. Pretend we did like a, it's like a like a lesson show. Like or a, something. Hey, you know what? Ask me if I'm a truck. No, I'm not. Ask me if I'm a fish. No, I'm not. Ask me if I care. No. <laughs> See, I use that one on my three-year-old. Hi, buddy. My little guy Dorian, and my beautiful wife at home may be watching because our internet's working. I hope you're watching, baby. I love you. I miss you. I can't wait to get home and smooch on your face. Yeah. I know. What the hell did you and just say? Getting ready to smooch on my wife's face. I know, ladies. I'm married. I know you're jealous. You're jealous of this. Look at this. Woo. Yeah. You know who can warm her up? <laughs> yeah. I'm getting my wife ready for when I come you home. Can warm her up? What can, Chuck Norris? Chuck Norris can warm her up with two ice cubes. Throw them together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Hey, you know what? I am going to show a lick. Just the old-fashioned, usually people do it double bass, but we do it here. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Let's do this. Can you see my, go to my feet. You can show my feet. Feet? Anyone? Bueller? Yeah, left foot. See, my right foot's here, so I switch. What I'm basically saying... want to be able to play right-handed or left-handed. And I'm telling you do all these same exercises. Check this out. I'll play lefty on the ride and right hand on the snare drum. Then you switch back. Then back. do it all. Left hand, right foot. Right hand. just talked there it was really just to come to the idea of working on the left side to get that strong too soon i will bring a double bass pedal in and then you all crap your pants because doing that stuff with both feet pure plunk rudiments baby with the feet double stroke roll yeah paradiddles with your feet Ooh, say paradiddles what again. paradiddles what time to say it again paradiddles I've got paradiddles that you've never seen before. They're so long and so fast, it'll hurt you on the inside. I don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, all right. I can't, what's that? Let's, let's do a song and get out of here. I'm sure we're about there. All right. I mean. Well, I could do something. I think I already did. I did, uh, I did some, like the Nelson stuff. And then I could do some other stuff, too, but it's up to you. Actually, paradiddles. I always do paradiddles. Double paradiddles. Paradiddle diddle. Paradiddle diddle. Paradiddle. What, Steve? Sorry, go ahead. Paradiddle diddle. Right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, left. Again, I fall into the quarter note. Paradiddle diddle. Paradiddle diddle. Paradiddle diddle. Paradiddle diddle. it there at the end but that's paradiddle paradiddle oh no i'm doing a six stroke roll which is the same thing i'm just doing doing it uh 
How am I doing that? Or really, it's a left-handed paradiddle diddle. Like that. Left, right, left, left, right, right. But I'm starting it with the right hand. So it falls into the, the note here. Boo da 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 like. I love that lick. Para diddle diddle. And I tend, because I'm going for a certain sound, I will do it. Got a secret for you. Got a secret. Why does my finger stink? I don't know. Falling, falling into, ah, oh, my girlfriend over there, uh, Robbie. I had to make sure I said your name because. My girlfriend gives yeah. me kisses. Love is all about chocolate. I can't. I can't. Do, I need to work on the thing. Let's play a song. Get out of here. I hate everything. <laughs> yeah, say goodbye, everybody. No dog trucks tonight. We'll get it back to next week. Say goodbye. I get to go home and smooch with my lady. Oh, bye, everybody. Thanks for shopping. I'm going to paradiddle her. <laughs>